Holy when Holy Tuesday, Jesus description of the disciples on the Mount of Olives. Holy Wednesday, once called Spy Sunday. Spy Even, Wednesday. I've never heard it called Spy Wednesday. Yeah. That was when Judas it, he, he turned on him. Yeah, the decision to betray Jesus, thirty pieces of silver. But he really got shafted because silver wasn't worth as much as gold, so he took it. He really got the low end of the home pole. Now he actually, they say that he also had his own, uh, had the book of Judas basically, which doesn't exactly jive with all of these other books because it said that he, he wasn't doing anything that the others were doing, weren't doing, he just got paid for doing it. And oh, the word, interesting. Yeah, in the words of a movie I was in, I always like this, I was there when they said it, in a dirty dozen, Lee Marvin to Charles Bronson, when Charles, I didn't do anything wrong. And then what Lee Marvin said, yes, but you got caught not doing it. Mm -hmm. That's the whole thing. That's what the book of Judas says is that I did nothing the others weren't doing except I accepted money for doing it. Mm -hmm. And that was my only sin. Well, not the killing of the guy that they took up money for. So, Wouldn't um, they consider that an accessory now? Yeah, an accessory after the fact. Good. Um, um, basically, I like... Monday, Thursday, he commemorates the Last Supper, his agony in the garden, his arrest. And Monday is derived from Mentum, the commandment of God. Uh, John 13, 34, 35, for centuries, people in authority have washed the feet of their followers on this day. And Good Friday recalls the death on the cross, which we're going to say it again, folks. He could not have been executed for his ministry if he had not been a minister, so you can't have it 30, 31, 32, or 30. Mm -hmm. He was a minister in '34, mm -hmm. so that they got. Oh, yeah, it makes sense. If a genius like Isaac Newton says that that's when the ministry took place, he couldn't mm -hmm. have been executed before the fact. Mm -hmm. He also couldn't have been executed the the Temple Mount. He couldn't have been executed until after he did the Temple, the, until he did the throwing of the church and stuff, which happened in '33. Mm -hmm. But he was executed in '30. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, go to see. Um, the origin of the word God, good has been lost. Some claim that it's a corruption of God and that the early Christians called the day God's Friday, which is Good Friday. God morphed into good just as good God be, which has became goodbye, which is basically if you go back to um, a movie called The Rock, which I actually was in also, uh, where um, Nicolas Cage is explaining the fact that his name was Godson. Wait, God sent. Ah. Which refers back to when God sent the angels down to get Christ. That's that's how he ah. got the name Good Goodson, which is God sent. Mm -hmm. So um, okay, what do we got? A fourth century church manual, the apocalyptic constitution called Good Friday, a day of mourning, not a day of festive joy. Well, first of all, it's a day. It's a pagan day, folks. That's why it was a day of festive joy. Mm -hmm. um, uh, he, he referred to it as a day of bitterness of which we fast. But that must that pisses the Jews off really a lot because they, we really like good food. That's the reason for having all of these days. Uh, Holy Sunday, a.k.a. Easter, is the final day of the Holy Week of Lent. It commemorates uh, Jesus' resurrection, and the early church converts were baptized in a church membership on this day after a lengthy period of instruction. Then you got the Feast of Ascension, Pentecost. Oh, now we're going to give you... How many times have we talked about how the date of Easter was determined? Guess well, it what changes again? all the time. It's not like, okay, New Year's Day is always January 1st. Easter Sunday changes every single year. Instead, it's got to understand it's not celebrated on the anniversary of the death and reported resurrection. The year of the execution is unknown. Basically, it estimates range from 29 to basically 34. Mm -hmm. That's a big gap. Mm -hmm. Um, and also anniversary of the actual events go unobserved year by year. So here's the funny part is, okay, so if Easter Sunday falls on the first Sunday after the first full moon after March 20th, the nominal date of the spreading equinox, sounds much more like a pagan holiday because it's around the moon, not regarding a specific date. Well, you ought to hear us talk about the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny has to do with, um, which isn't in this, it's basically, we've done Easter Bunny, it's got to do with pagan happening, lots of sex and fertility. Mm -hmm. Drinking, food, sex, and fertility. Mm -hmm. Spring. Yeah. Uh, and I can, uh, what do we got? Uh, this, okay, in the year 2019, the date of Easter, according to precise astronomy calculations, will be March 24th. But it will be deserved uh, April 6th. Mm -hmm. So, isn't that something? Yeah, and so, and oh, remarkably, it always is on a Sunday. Yeah, that's because of Sunday. Uh, basically, oh, 
Easter Sunday in the West can fall on any date between March 21st and, uh, and the 25th of, uh, of April because there's a problem between um, the Eastern Orthodox churches and the Jewish churches and the Christian churches. They're not consistent. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, it only is a month old different because it's, I know that's a that's a big span. Yeah. And so, however, if that date does not follow Passover, which it, I thought it traditionally did, then the Orthodox churches delay their Easter sometimes by over a month to make matters more complex. Most Eastern Orthodox churches use a Julian calendar, which is currently offset by twelve days from the more generally used Gregorian calendar. Yeah, that's what we ended up with with the Gregorian calendar, we which used. was derived from the Babylonian calendar. Mm -hmm. Here we got an Easter now we're coming to the big one. The name Easter is originated from the names of the ancient goddesses and gods. The venerable Bede, yeah, the venerable Bede, uh, wow. a Christian scholar first asserted, uh, asserted in his book De Raton Temporum that Easter was named after Esther, which is, which is Estri. She was the great mother goddess of the Saxon people in Northern Europe. Which, which would make sense, mm -hmm. right? I know. Um, because springtime, it comes from the earth, right? Similar goddesses were known by other names in ancient cultures around, you know, like Aphrodite, Astar, Dimitri, Hector, Ashtar. You know, it's, it's, a lot of these are, um, are have to do with pagan type things. Okay, I think I went too far, didn't I? I think you did too. Well, I'm not used to doing this. And play. we got our brand new podium, and I'm not. So I have to resonate. Here we go. An alternative explanation would suggest that the name given by the Frankish church to Jesus, uh, yeah, like they, they gave Jesus the name Jesus from uh, Heshoah. Um, which be, see, uh, this, uh, it's right from the Latin word Abba, which means white. This was the reference to the white robes that were worn during the festival. It also, second meaning means sunrise. When the festival was translated in German, the sunrise meaning was selected an error. This became Ostern in German. Ostern, pro, uh, Ostern has been propagated to the origin of the word Easter. Yes, uh, uh, Oster. Oster. It's basically Oster. Oster. You mispronounce Oster, it becomes Easter. Really, I mean. <laughs> uh, too popular to release the region the word Sunday was derived from the same uh, Scandinavian sun go uh, goddess uh, Sunna and Sun. Fransol is derived from sun, the word God, nearest to God. The phrase de sol means day of sun. In the Christian, St. Jerome commented to call the day of the sun by the pagans, we willingly accept the name. For on this day the light of the world arose, on this day the sun of justice shone forth. That's now you're getting the, the definition. Now we get the pagan thing, which basically, you know, the, you like. What was that I like? I love how he says that you like. No. Well, you know, a lot of them, okay, so it's a major seasonal day of religious celebration, right, following this, at or following the spring equinox. Um, Sibel from the, the, what is it, Phrygian, Phrygian? Phrygian, fertility. It's frigid. Fertility. Fr I know, it's like she's frigid. frigid. She's frigid, fertility I love goddess. it's frigid. Phrygian fertility goddess had a consort, Addis, who was believed to have been born via a virgin birth. Addis was believed to have died and been resurrected each year Isn't during that the period of Christ. And this is before Christ was ever born, how they did all of this. Mm. So about two hundred now we're two hundred years before Christ was born, as a matter of fact. Oh, mystery cults began to appear in Rome just as they had earlier in Greece. Most notable was the Sibel cult. Um, centered on, on Vatican Hill. Hill. Long before the church That's started. That's right. Isn't that amazing? How as, Vatican. I know. Associated with that cult was that of her lover, Addis. Remember that name? Um, he was a god of ever-reviving vegetation. Atticus was also one of the reasons we had this, uh, the Revolutionary War. Remember Ad yes. uh, the uh, Afro-American Atticus, which was one of the people killed and started the, started the Revolutionary War off? Oh. So born of a virgin, which we heard he was, he died and was reborn annually. So this, this reminds me of those things, you know, where they chop off an arm and they're reborn. Yeah, basically the festival began as a day of blood on Black Friday Oh. and culminated after three days in a day of rejoicing over the resurrection, which means it, they were sobering up on the last day. It's almost like they took a different religion and then just converted. Yeah, but as we found out, uh, a lot of what people consider to be religious dogma is actually things that have been you know, they picked and choose parts of uh, 
taken things across the history of time and made it into modern things. I can guarantee you, I mean, it was not, Muhammad was a, God, a man of peace, folks. Mm. The guy actually believed heavily in peace. Mm. And basically somewhere along the line, they've changed it a bit. But this guy, him and Christ would have got along wonderfully together. They both had, they believed the same things, just in different religions. Well, here's the part that makes it interesting, is that wherever Christian worship of Jesus and pagan worship, okay, mm of Addis well, were active in the same geographical area in ancient times. Yeah. So, yeah, so the Christians used to celebrate the death and resurrection of Jesus on the same date, and pagans and Christians used to quarrel bitterly about which of their gods was the true prototype mm -hmm. and which the imitation. In other words, <laughs> yeah. yes. See, this what is... What came first, the chicken or the egg? This is where, if you listen to the first part, they're talking about a lot of liberal theologians believe that Christ actually was 200 years earlier. Atticus was 200 years earlier. So, because there is no one, there's actually nothing but, um, uh, there's no one, um, no, most people never actually, only the Romans wrote of the crucifixion. But oh, the not, interesting. The people that basically, okay, his uh, Christ followers and disciples were not there because they were afraid they were going to get executed, so they actually have no recollection of what actually happened so it's all guesswork based upon what Roman soldiers have said and it could have been like they said it could have picked the wrong person mm -hmm. so there's no way of telling because these are not officers these are soldiers mm. who were drinking a lot <laughs> so many religious historians and liberal theologians believe that the death and resurrection legends were first associated with Addis probably because Addis came first right now, two centuries before Christ was supposed to have been executed. So they thought they were simply grafted onto the stories of Jesus' life in order to make Christian theology, the, theology, theology, theology more acceptable to pagans because they were all trying to they were all trying to Christianize them. Yeah, I right? have glasses. Hey, you want to see something neat about my glasses, folks? How I'm I'm able to read all of this stuff up close. Well, you know, part of it is that makes sense where they're, they're trying to convert the people to Christianity, so they take things that people already accept. Yeah. Yes. Okay, others suggest that many of the events in Jesus' life that were recorded in the Gospel were lifted from the life of Krishna, the second Remember, person of the I Hindu. Hare Krishna. Yeah, ancient Christians had an alternative explanation. They claimed that Satan had created counterfeit deities and announced their coming. Of the Christ in order to confuse, <laughs> confuse humanity. Did they ever think that they're all just that religion's perception of the same person? No, oh, I'm also, uh, uh, we're, we're going to get back to my movie stuff again. I was in a movie a long time ago called Run of the Arrow with Rod mm -hmm. Steiger, uh, Ralph Meeker, and, um, and Charles Bronson. And the thing, Rod Steiger was basically tired of war. He wanted to go someplace where he didn't have to fight, so he wanted to become an Indian. And he said he couldn't change his religion. And uh, so Charlotte Bronson asked him, do you believe in one God? And they said, yes. He said, do you believe in the story of the bir of virgin birth? He said, yes. He said, same religion, just different names. Different names. That's all. Same mm -hmm. religion, but a different name. Mm -hmm. So a lot of this stuff is the same religion. Uh, if you look across the history of time, a lot of these things all have similarities in history. Mm -hmm. And it's just like they picked, I mean, Christianity picks picked and choose from all of the pagan religions. The religions of the East picked and choose from all of the Christian religions and pagan religions. And modern day religions cherry picks everything else that you've got. So Morgan Church of Mark, uh, Church of um, Latter-day Saints picks and chooses. Well, uh, I mean, think about it on the holidays. Okay, national holidays. We choose which holidays we choose to celebrate, don't we? Yeah. I mean, okay, so anyway, Wiccans and other modern day neo-pagans continue to celebrate the spring equinox as one of their um, eight yearly Sabbaths, which are holy days of celebration. Yeah, like that. Near the Mediterranean, this is a time of sprouting. The summer is crop. Nor further north, the time for seeding. It all has to do with the very same thing, which is springtime. Mm -hmm. Easter is a time of... A well, spring. Spring. Fourth. Spring. And what did Christ do on Easter Sunday? He sprung forth. Fourth. Yep. So... Um, basically, but there's, you know, that there, okay, basically, that's it. So, the end. Now, jumping over the dying embers, we've a sure fertility people crop. I love that one, but no, but we, we, we try, 
Okay, what happens is every year around this time, they trot out all of the things, new explanations, written explanations, and then the things. I happen to like to watch the Discovery Channel, the History Channel, and public broadcasting. So I watch all the different things, but all of them have one general consensus even among the scholars is that everybody liberally borrowed from everybody mm -hmm. and they created a religion that may or may not have been based upon this person but it doesn't make any difference because um, he's a symbol. It is a symbol which is the people um, that they criticize a person that was a symbol. Somebody died. Mm -hmm. They know that as a fact. Was it, was it um, 2013 years ago, or was it 2000? And 14 and 14 years ago. Or 2000 and 2313 or 14. Who died is irrelevant. It's the process that has been created after that. It's just. Um, what I find interesting is how much it changes actually from year to year. Yeah. I mean, because a lot of you would think, oh, it doesn't really change that much. I mean, we've done this every year. This is the first time I've ever heard, I mean, we've, it to this extent. I don't even remember hearing about Addis before. I remember no. talking about the pagan holidays and equinox, yeah. well, right? Because I put this together two days ago, mm -hmm. and um, like I said, I've been watching the history. I've been watching okay, the history channels, the Discovery channels, and all of their offshoots in public broadcasting, and all of them are talking about you know this week. Mm -hmm. All of them are very heavily talking about this week, and they're all talking. I mean, the information is: does it really matter or not? about the man. It's what came forth as a result of the man. So if you if you cherry pick things for two centuries to get to the legend of Christ, it, it's not important. Mm -hmm. If you know, if Muhammad was a man that would did great things and a religion came forth because he was a man that did great things, who cares? If Hinduism, you know, um, you know, Shinoism, Buddhism, if Buddha was a man who did great things. Does it matter? You remember the things that followed even if none of these people were actually real. Mm -hmm. It's what was created by the people in their name. I mean, uh, um, in uh, 200 years, they'll probably pick somebody out that lived three or four hundred years ago and that the, whatever the person started will have grown into a great big thing and they'll, you know, like uh, the people that believed in peace you know, like uh, Gandhi, for instance. Mm -hmm. Eventually, Gandhi may be thought of as someone like this because but Gandhi also died for peace. Mm -hmm. You find out there's a, uh, uh, um, you know, I can wrap this up, there tends to be one general thing in all of these religions is the people all died for their beliefs. Mm -hmm. All of them died for their beliefs. And that's, if you're willing to die for, I mean, um, like uh, in this thing, they said the difference between an American today and an American when I grew up was that Americans were willing to die for their beliefs and liberty. Today they're not. Mm -hmm. The difference between a true Christian, a true Muslim, and um, and a true a Jew and a true Buddhist and all of this is the really faithful are willing to die for what they believe in. Mm -hmm. If you're not willing to commit yourself completely, you're just basically, you know, you, you basically talk about it. It's just not for real, but uh, that's just the way it is. So I guess until next year when we have a new version, this is Old Camp. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can always go to www.montebubbles.net on the net or um, our commercial site, which is mbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over hundreds and hundreds of millions of links on the Internet. And, of course, you can follow us on Twitter at Monty Bubbles.